Hey everyone, I'm making funeral potatoes. So I was told about this by my brother-in-law in Utah. I guess it's pretty popular over there. We're gonna put our own twist to it, my own twist to it. So right now I have three tablespoons of butter melting, probably like a little more like three and a half. So these we're gonna use for later, but these are just some colorful chips, like vegetable root chips. So I'm gonna cut these down a little bit. This is gonna go on the topping, but instead of, you'll see, I'm gonna melt the butter at one point in time so I don't have to do it again and use another uh, pot. So this is about four cups, a little bit more loose, and then you crush it down. You put about a tablespoon in there, and that's gonna be the topping. So that's about a tablespoon there. And this pan, I'm gonna turn the heat back up, and we're gonna sweat the onions. And this is about a half a large onion dice. We're gonna sweat that out, and then from there, we will start cooking the potatoes. Sweating here for about five minutes. You can put a little color on it, it's fine. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit, and this is half and half. I'll give you the recipe later, but it's about a cup and a half, and we're gonna bring this up a little bit. It's gonna turn the heat back up. And then what I'm gonna do from here is cook the potatoes in there. This is about two pounds of sliced russet potatoes. And the starch is gonna release in there, which is gonna make it thicker. I've seasoned the mixture a little bit with a little salt and pepper. And it should probably take all that in. And I'm gonna stir that around to make sure the potatoes are nicely well coated. It got a little oxidized, but that's okay, because once it starts to cook, it'll take some of that off. So we're gonna cook these up a little bit and make sure so they don't oxidize anymore that they'll start to uh, be tender. And I'll show you the next steps. All right, so now I've had the potatoes cooking for a little bit over five minutes. And so there's a little bit of work involved because you have to stir it so the pieces uh, don't stick together because potatoes are starchy, so that's what they want to do. But the starch released into the half and half, and that's what it looks like. So it's already starting to cook. I turned off the heat. But see the oxidation comes off but that's what happens the starch releases into the half and half and creates a nice really thick potato but now we're going to add some sour cream and cheese to it and then put it into our casserole I'll show you cooking the potatoes we have the sour cream and cheese mixture and that's going to go right in there we're going to toss that together and that's going to go into our pre-buttered casserole just like this so we're going to toss it together so it gets incorporated but also start to loosen up and melt the cheeses as well I've already had the oven preheated to 375, and we're gonna bake this, but I'll just show you a little bit of this. So the sour cream and the cheese mixture's there, the heat's been off, but it's still warm, but you wanna incorporate it. If it's too hot, it might break, so you don't wanna do that. And then what's gonna go into our prepared casserole, which just means it's been buttered. And we're gonna scrape that up, make sure we get all that good stuff in there, just like that. Scrape that good. That's why I love using a rubber spatula, you can get all that goodness just like that. And then now we're going to level it out. Shake that a little bit. Okay, and then now our crispy topping is gonna go around there. That's gonna give great color, but also gives it texture. So we're gonna just sprinkle that around. Do that, layer that out a little bit. So in this mixture too, I kind of did my own spin, obviously with the colored chips, but also as well, uh, I used Gruyere cheese. Um, on a recent trip to France, I love that cheese and it kind of gives a little nice tang and pungency to it. So I wanted to use that as well. So this tradition, like I said earlier, was cornflakes, but we're gonna do potato chips and some root vegetable chips to give us a nice color. I'm gonna wrap it in foil and put it in the oven. Going into the oven. 